Dr. Brent Kramer works as a surgeon at Vance Thompson Vision, and he warns people about the dangers of eye rubbing and keratoconus. And if you rub your eye a lot, you can cause something called keratoconus. And that's where there's a thinning and a weakening of the cornea, and the cornea protrudes or bulges out. Dr. Kramer says keratoconus is very common today, with one in 300 people in America having it. It causes vision loss and irregular astigmatism, which he says can be tougher to treat with regular methods. So when you hear and think of astigmatism, you should think the cornea is shaped a little bit more like a football instead of a baseball. And usually you can put a pair of glasses or contact lenses in front of the cornea that corrects that irregular shape. With keratoconus, you get irregular astigmatism, and so it's like a football with a bulge in it. And as you can imagine, that's really tough to treat with glasses or contacts. Keratoconus can start as young as late teens and can cause terrible damage to the cornea if left unchecked. Unfortunately, if keratoconus gets worse, it can cause scarring of the cornea and even cause the cornea to become white or gray from that scarring, and that can't be corrected with a contact lens. And so that's when we look at doing something like a corneal transplant. Dr. Kramer says eye rubbing is the number one culprit for this disease, as eye rubbing can cause prescriptions to change and eye pressure to shoot up exponentially. Normal eye pressure, let's say, is you know, somewhere between 10 and 20. Eye pressure can go up higher in the, well into the hundreds when you rub your eye, even, even to a thousand sometimes. Dr. Kramer says if your eye is itchy, itch around your eye instead of rubbing. So what I do is I grab um, take the skin and pinch it to a bone. And so the middle corners of the eye can rub typically in allergies or dryness. And then I just kind of squeeze that middle finger and go like this. If the eyelids itch, I'd grab that eyelid and pull it down on the bone around the eye and can do that. Dr. Kramer asks people who rub their eyes to think why they do it and to try the new methods to avoid having keratoconus. So if you're an eye rubber, I want you to stop and think about why am I rubbing it. Am I rubbing it just because, it, you know, it's the end of a long day and it's a habit or the eyes feel sore or strained? Or is it something like itching or, um, or blurring or something that we need, you should see your eye doctor for to treat?